Welcome back. A new child psychiatry access network or CPAN launched in East Texas this week. Laura Young joins us now this morning from UT Health Science Center. She's the program senior program director there. She's going to tell us a little bit more about this. So thank you so much for joining us. First of all, thank you for having me. Hey, it's our pleasure. So kind of tell us a little bit about CPAN and what's the goal of this access network? Sure, CPAN, which stands for the Child Psychiatry Access Network, is a network of 12 hubs that provide consultation, resources, and services to pediatricians and family practice doctors throughout Texas. And our program here through UT Health Science Center serves the 25 county region that goes all the way up to the Red River, across to Texarkana, and then down. So how will this kind of help you better serve East Texas? Sure. So one of the challenges that we have across Texas is the lack of mental health resources. And for children in Northeast Texas, that is even more of a challenge. So what we do as a team of psychiatrists, children psychiatrists and therapists, is provide consultation and support to pediatricians and family med docs. They can call into us at a toll free number and we can support them with additional resources and information and consultation so that they can continue to serve the children in their practice right there in their practice instead of having to send them out to an external child psychiatrist. Awesome. So are there any like certain psychological issues that UT Health will focus on specifically here or is it kind of in general? It's really whatever that provider needs. It can be something such as ADHD or autism. It can be something even like um, some of the social anxiety disorders that are going on right now. With children, their world has been kind of turned upside down since um, the COVID hit. And so just as adults are struggling with some anxiety and depression, our children are as well. And unfortunately, they don't have the coping mechanisms that adults have. So this is a great adjunct to the care that we can provide for uh, their providers, pediatricians, family med docs, nurse practitioners, and uh, 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 PAs as well. So they can call in at no cost, talk directly to a therapist, and then if they need some additional support, maybe with some medication management or difficult cases, they can call, uh, we can call them directly back. And they get a call back within 30 minutes from a psychiatrist, but they're gonna get a call immediately from us because they're gonna call and talk directly to them. Now, Laura, while we have you, it's kind of perfect timing because September is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. Um, as a mm -hmm. professional, what conversations should parents be having with their children right now? I mean, especially as you mentioned, the world kind of has turned upside down. They're not going back to school necessarily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How can they? You know, that's a great. Yeah. That's a great question, and I think that's a question on a lot of parents' minds right now. I think reassurance that they have support in the family, that they're there, the parents are there for them. But I'll tell you what, if, they're, if their parents are concerned, they should talk with their pediatrician and their family med doc, share with them the concerns they're hearing from their child, and that doctor has the skill and now the support from the CPAN program to help serve that child um, with whatever, whatever behavior health needs they have. Again, no cost. Laura, thank you. And we'll be sure to have all that contact information when we link this on our website, KUTK.com.